Today, my morning started very exhaustingly. I've been having insomnia for the past couple of days and it's been really hard to focus on things and do life. Today especially, I've had to encounter a lot of very hurtful behavior from people in my life that I love very dearly. In one way, I feel like I'm trapped between this version of myself who wants to bloom and live her life and find meaning in her everyday life and live spiritually. And this other version who has to perform, play the game and try and live life in a way that it is good for everyone else. Just because in moments like this, life feels exhausting. It doesn't mean that it's not beautiful. So let's find practices, solutions that are healthy and spiritually charged to help us feel, go through all the emotion, still live healthily and experience everything we need. So the next day we wake up, we can continue life with a happier mind and soul. No matter if I take a shower or a bath, I always do this little cleansing ritual. That is, whenever I wash myself, I imagine my worries, problems and pain as this muddy, gooey thing. And through cleansing, I remove it. I dissolve it from my body when I I'm taking a shower, I imagine the water dripping down and cleansing all of that muddiness from my body and from my soul. I also imagine this white light coming through my body and just flushing all the negativity, all the toxins out. And let me tell you, since I've been doing this imaginative way of cleaning my body, I find that I feel so refreshed and so free after it. On days when I don't feel quite good, I like to wear something comfy. And let me tell you, large t-shirts are my lifesaver. And then putting on just warm, cozy, cute socks. what I like to do is I have this pretty reddish color and put it as a highlighter around here so it looks like I have rosy cheeks because I really like that I like to brush my eyebrows a little bit Adding a little mascara. I've got this amethyst medal by my dad and it looks so amazing and it can also be used as a pendulum. <laughs> so I think it is important for me to say that I feel very privileged to be able to have a day for myself where I'm able to focus on myself. Not a lot of people can do that. So what I want to say is whenever there's this reoccurring problem that you face and that you cannot cope with in the moment and you might not have time to do a whole routine to reset and to find realignment again, try to think of what your body needs and what your circumstances allow you to do. Whatever you are, if there's just five minutes that you can take for yourself. Always, always return to self and try and find a practice where you are allowed to truly get out everything you want from your system. 
because that's how that's how it's gonna help you move forward and keep you on your toes let that be journaling taking out your notes app and just writing down your feelings crying <laughs> or meditating or taking a deep breath and just letting it all go and visualizing that pain move away even if that's all you can do that's already a huge step that you're taking towards your peace and tranquility and whenever you have a day to yourself when you can have time to focus on you and you only take the larger and more time-consuming practices to help you relieve everything that happened to you. All the practices that I'll be doing today are just kind of an, a compact kind of little package that is there for you as well to get inspired from and to pick out those pieces that you feel like can be useful for you. So it's not about time itself and how long does it take you to complete a practice it's more so about how it feels the effect that it has on you and how much of that time you can truly put into that focus and concentration these days I find that I crave less and less meat. And so in honor of this sad little day, I've decided to make a comforting meal that is also vegetarian. So I'm peeling some potatoes and also chopping up some delicious corn from the cob. I love wedgies so much and they fill me up, especially corn and potatoes because they're filled with starch and healthy carbohydrates mushrooms are a staple and so i'm making this potato corn mushroom deliciousness adding in some teriyaki sauce mixing it all together and i've noticed that because the teriyaki sauce has some sugar in it it caramelized all my wedgies and I also added some crumbled feta cheese on top, which made it even more delicious. I rarely see people talk about sad and negative times in their lives. I don't think I've realized how much of spirituality is based on these negative, hurtful times of life. When you seek refuge in all that you've been trying to learn. Because it's hard to pull yourself together and keep on going. But I think the answer is not pretend. The answer is feel. Feeling emotions of all kind. Not just the good ones and not just a few bad ones, but also know that these are part of your existence and your emotional self that you need to experience as well. Maybe the answer is finding the way out but the way out is through through experience through slowing down and listening to what your heart is telling you what feels good in the moment not what you should be doing and feeling and living without judgment of yourself I got myself this delicious blend which is a summer tea blend 
it's actually from my hometown. Mm. It's so delicious. So, the time has come for me to do a little bit of journaling. I always say it lightly because it's just way more than journaling. I'm going through a feelings checkup. It's this way for me to kind of ask myself how I'm feeling and kind of circling back into what has caused me to feel this way and kind of break it down in a way that I connect the dots and there's a conclusion to it that helps me reiterate and clearly find the root cause of my problem because I've told you that I don't really feel good mentally I'm kind of drained I just want to get my spark back a little bit. I would call journaling soul dumping because you basically write down everything that is weighing on your soul and it helps you release. I finished the journaling part of this little ritual and the last thing that I asked myself was what am I taking away from this experience? So I just want to read it for you because I kind of generalize it just so I hope that one resonates with you or you can take on with your day if you're in a similar headspace like I was. Find an easy and flexible morning and night routine. And I want to elaborate on that. Basically, I don't have the slightest clue of how my night routine is should look like but i know that from past experience it's trash and i need something that can kind of ground me and help me get to sleep before you react in a certain way take a deep breath and respond kindly let kindness guide you instead of your own ego don't beat yourself up if one day you are not feeling in a certain way. It is in our nature to experience sadness, guilt, hurt, and even grief. And the last thing that I wrote down was burst your bubble, do something spontaneous. So the past couple of days, although they have been pretty hard, weren't the only experiences that I wanted to let go of. I also had a friendship breakup with a friend that had been causing me immense pain but had brought me supreme joy as well. Letting go also means accepting everything that I've experienced with that person. The sad, the bad, the good, the crazy emotions. I'm gathering it all through imagination, remembering every single moment, and just creating this bowl of purple light basically trying to separate this friend from the experiences that i have lived with them and slowly neutralizing them thinking of them as an identity separate from me seeing them for who they really are objectively without trying to project any feelings or emotions onto them so on a piece of memory with that person and writing down and drawing certain things that came up through this visualization and slowly but surely accepting that this friendship has to go in order for both of us to live our lives separately. This friendship couldn't blossom anymore and just like a flower wasn't taken care of, has dried out and at the end, lighting a purple candle symbolizing the color of the memories and burning that memory. I nearly burned my apartment down, so be careful with the fire everyone. It 
is finally raining and I am so excited. <laughs> Because lately I cannot like truly cry my eyes out, I figured that a movie that is n sad but also has a good ending would be perfect. I've decided to watch an anime titled A Silent Voice that was recommended by one of my best friends. And honestly, it was such a roller coaster of emotions. Mm -hmm. 